I know. It's probably better this way. <laughs> um, all right. So now I have to get the um, get the script right. We need to read that. Let's get the script. Yeah. Start. You have a quorum, right. and we are recording. Okay. So, Kathy, before we start, then the the script. Um, sorry, where is that? I'm looking at the email with the agenda, and it's oh, followed by the superseding provisions. You want me to send it back to you? Um, yeah, would you? It's one of three documents. Maybe, maybe you could just read it, Kathy. <laughs> I'm staff. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. We like you. <laughs> okay, you're good. Are you, is, is that a challenge? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay. And do we have any applicants in the meeting? Um, we do. Maria Zoto and Myra Escobar are in, are waiting. Okay. So should I just read the script now then? Yep, just call the meeting to order and yes. Okay. So we'll call the meeting of the Sign Advisory Council to order at 9.01 a.m. on Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. And as a preliminary matter, this is Chris Young, Chair, for maybe to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. So members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Uh, Kevin Kuster. Here. Paul Wolf. Here. Uh, yes. <laughs> that's, is that all the ones I need to, uh, Maria Zoda? No, yeah. no, she's, um, Maria is not a, a council member. She's Oh, okay, participant. sorry. Yep. So I believe it's just yeah. the three of us then. Yes, you have a quorum, yes. Nobody. Okay. Yep. Um, staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Kathy Flynn. Here. Anticipated speakers on the agenda, please respond in the affirmative. Now, do we need to include them? Yes, so that's Maria Zoda. Okay, Maria Zoda. Here. <coughs> Myra and, go ahead. Uh, Myra? Myra? Myra Escobar. Escobar. I'm here. Okay. Okay, thank you. I see two other people on the call who are not named. Yeah. Um, Kitty Simo. I'm sorry. Okay, you are for 29 Center, correct? Yep, that's right. Okay. Okay. And then and the other the 617 number. I don't know who that is. We identify yourself, please. This, this is this is um Catherine. The Katie and Catherine are both for for an hour, both on the phone. Oh, so, oh, so you're both okay. at 29 Center. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Thank you. And for those of you applicants, thanks for, this is our first time doing this, so uh, <laughs> thanks for being patient with us. Um, okay, so the introduction to a remote meeting. Good morning, this is the open meeting of the Sign Advisory Council. It's being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak, outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we've been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings. And as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted with the agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will feature public comment. For this meeting, the Sign Advisory Committee is convening by video conference via Zoom app as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that all attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have been provided 
members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless I note otherwise being the chair. Uh, we are now turning to the first item on the agenda. Before we do, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you're not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. <clears throat> for any reason, or excuse me, for any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in a conversation with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. Uh, for items with public comment, after members have spoken, the chair will afford the public uh, to comment to those members will afford public comment to those members of the public that have joined the meeting via Zoom. Members of the public who wish to speak must state their names and be acknowledged by and speak through the chair. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. Okay. Hope that made sense to everyone. And yes, and uh, um, Mr. Chair, if I may, Mark Coutone um, is, I'm just sending him the link now. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. So we'll have our fourth so he's, member he joining us shortly. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, so we have uh, just a question for, we've called to order members presence. We've done, uh, do we have a, an adoption of the agenda? Would anybody like to motion to adopt our agenda? So moved. Kevin, you're on mute. Okay. Lucy yeah, you that way. All right. Would you second it, Kevin? Yes. Okay. All in favor. So, Kevin, are you in favor? Yes. Paul, are you in favor? Yes. Mark, are you in favor of adopting the agenda? Yes. Okay. And I, so unanimously adopted. Uh, approval of the minutes, we don't have any to approve at this moment. Right. So, we'll move on to the first application. Okay. Is there so anybody? for Great Point Properties. Is there any it's, member of the public here for Great Point Properties? Um, that is Myra. Myra. Okay. So oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Richmond, thank you. So, right? Yes, Richmond, right. Um, so now, Kathy, are you going to screen share the... Are, are you able to see what I'm doing now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so thank you. The, the first one on the agenda is <clears throat> she's moving the um, so her the sign from her old location to her new location. So from 57 Old South Road, which there is a previous approval in here at the end, was done in 2016. <clears throat> if you remember, it's that sign, and she's right. moving it. Uh, to her building at 63B Old South Road. Now, she has two applications before you, so um, this was attached to the front of the building, but she does have another one that's um, going to be a, a facing the parking lot, so just so you all know. Okay, can we see that one so that there's a, yeah. a sense of the package? Before yeah, we... so that's the first one. So this is the first one. So that's, you all can see. So I believe Myra, would it go right here? Yes. Okay, so, so the whale would go right there. Right. So two whales, one facing each side. Okay, right. Okay. Right. And then, uh, Kathy, is there also a, an application for the paint department uh, that there, we're going to be seeing? Yes, there is. I don't think he's on the line right now. Um, we just okay. Just again, trying to see the whole building as a package. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Um, if you don't mind, Mr. Chair, let me just identify who is the two hundred seven number. 
Uh, we're with Blue Flag for 29 Center Street. Oh, that's right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. I thought that was a new number. And the 617 is for 29 Center Street. Okay, so uh, Mr. Eldridge is not on the Zoom meeting at this time. Okay, but he is requesting a change to his signage on the same He building. is requesting an additional sign on facing Old South Road. And he actually put in his ap application copies of other signs facing Old South Road. Okay, I think that seeing this building as a as a whole is important. This is sort of a master sign plan situation where we okay. really want to make sure we don't approve one thing that then contradicts the next application. Right. Um, should we open that other application up just so that we get a sense of what it is? Sure. So we can at least be reviewing them together. So that one is. So this was a previous one, so he wants to put it on Old South Roads. That's the sign. So examples of signs on Old South Road, Espresso to Go, as you can see. Am I going too fast? Uh, not for me. Is everybody else okay? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, you guys get yeah, the general. I think we, we've seen these signs. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the gist. Okay, so it looks like if we go back to Myra's application, it looks like he's already moved his sign. So we might. Um, um, uh, Mr. Chair, if I may, so if I may, um, his first application there was a notation to not put it on the street and i probably i believe that maybe he put two application two sign applications on one application so that was a condition but he put it on there and it's just asking for approval so if i look sorry okay. at myra's unless that's not a good indication i think it's maybe the other ones stand by uh, i think you went i think you just went by it there uh, not that side, the other side Go scroll up on the page, I believe, if you. Well, that's the top page, let me see. That's, oh, here right it there. is, right there. Yeah, so it's. Okay. Yeah, so he is, he's applying so essence, for this. That's what, he's, that's what he's applying for. Yes. Okay. So why don't we, we're reviewing Myra's application, but we see what the paint department's application will be next. Kevin, do you want to? open up our comments. sure i think that i think the issue is a long-standing one of uh not allowing signs where there's not an entrance i guess the difference is here and with some of the other examples is that it pretty much in, involves the whole building but uh, i think this whole i think this building and others there were just not properly designed to handle signage for the old south roadside and while i don't like it and i don't like the precedent it sets i understand the need to you know locate the businesses somehow uh and it seems that other people have had to also do that along old south road so i'm sort of mixed on it but willing to go along with it okay uh, Paul, regarding yeah, uh, Myers' did application. A, did we ask for a master sign plan on this building? I, I don't know that we have. Yeah, um, Mr. I mean, Chair. Clear, clearly, I, I, it's not clear to me whether the paint store and this other place will occupy the whole building, or is it two-thirds of the building? Or is there a third party? Yeah. And is somebody else going to come along? I think there needs to be a master sign plan. Um, Mr. Chair, if I may, um, Myra, is it just you and the paint store in that building? Yeah, the building is divided in half. So okay, where you so. see the front door, that's the, where the wall divides. Okay. So it's only businesses, yeah. So, so I don't know, Paul, if that helps you 
in your well, decision making. I, under, I understand it, but I still think there ought to be a master site plan. It can be a very simple one, I do believe. Okay. Um, oh. I think okay. make that a condition of approving both of these. Okay, uh, that makes sense. I think we could uh, we could write it in that that it's approved based on the fact that a master sign plan will be submitted reflecting these locations and sizes. Okay. Um, well, is that what you're thinking, Paul? Yes, that, that's fine. But we should make sure they do it. For example, this paint store moved the sign out here right after we told them they couldn't. Right. Right. So, so if we put this on record, then at least it'll be on. on yeah. Record. Okay. All right. Fine. Um, and Mark, uh, do you have any comments? Um, my only comments, I've seen that sign on the building. Well, I, I'm going to talk about the paint store sign or paint shop. Um, have we confirmed the material? It, I, I must say it looks almost temporary in nature, plastic or, or something. Um, do we have any information on its material or what that is? Um, um, let me see. Let's. Well, let, let's, um, you right now we're looking at Myra's application. Let's close that agenda item out and then we Move. can, I think that one will be up next. All right. With, with respect to, to Myra's, I don't really have any concern. I believe, uh, which, yeah, if we can look at the application. So wood, it's a um, wood, okay, painted. Yeah, I don't think I have any res any concerns with, with Myra's application. Um, I agree with, with Paul on a master sign plan. And then I do have some questions about the, the second application for the, the other tenant. Okay, good. So right now you're showing us, Kathy, the paint department sign application, right? Can we see yes. Myers' application just for a moment? Sure. Okay, so that is wood, uh, just the, the top page actually. Okay, so it's wood painted, edge banded, carved. Well, uh, okay. So then, would someone like to make a motion for approval of this so application? These two oh. applications, basically. Okay, with the uh, with the addendum of requiring a master sign plan for the building. Okay. Um, master sign will like showing that there are two business or or yes. So Myra, it would really fall on the um, the landlords to just submit a, a basically one application that shows the four sign locations and their sizes. So it's basically taking the approvals that will come out of this meeting, assuming they're all approved, and putting them on one application so that as the tenants might change down okay. the road, it's sort of acknowledged that that's where the signs are going to be located so that the okay. next tenant wouldn't be able to show up and say, well, I want to a 30 foot long sign, you know, okay. put over here. It's just <laughs> no problem. sort of letting the, the landlord say, I understand this is what my tenants will be allowed to, uh, to use. So okay. um, we do that when there's multiple tenants in one building because it just keeps everything consistent through the years. Okay. Um, so that's, so that right now we have a motion to approve your signs, assuming Thank that you. um, the landlord will be submitting a master sign plan for approval. So this won't be approved okay. until that master sign plan is approved, but at least you'll know okay. that it is going to be approved. Um, so we'll Thank you. take a roll call vote. Kevin? Aye. Paul? Aye. And Mark? Aye. Okay, and I, the chair is aye. So, Myra, you should be all set. Um, just make sure that between you and the paint department um, that the landlords know they need to submit a master sign plan application because both of your, um, any approvals given today will be contingent on that sign application, that master sign application being approved. Okay, I will let him know. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, Next on the agenda is uh, 29 Center Street. Yes, we're here. Oh, okay. Great. So we, we skipped over the paint department, Kathy? 
Oh, I, I thought you would. I thought that was included. In that. Well, I'm sorry. technically, we we need to reopen that. Sorry about that for the okay. Black like people. Let's okay. just get that. Um, basically, Mark was mentioning his concern about the material. According to the application, it's wood painted, edge banded. Um, this is the one that is facing on Old South Road. One thing I'm seeing, the size is a lot bigger. It's 25 by 50. I believe that's bigger than the size of the sign that's currently there. Okay. Is that? Uh, oh, I guess we'll go down. Kevin, do you have any comment on this? Well, I'm a little confused about the size, I guess. I don't think it should be, it should be in balance with the one that we just approved. Yeah, can we look at Myra's application? Yes. I'm, I'm just not, I'm not sure if the layout's accurate or if it's just a Photoshop or what it is. Oh, just uh, I heard top page. Kathy, the uh, size of the sign, uh, the application form. Oh, sorry. Okay, so she's 17 by 48, so it would be close, close. close to scale. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, is it within Paul, the any, uh, yeah it would be within the guidelines they would have a, theoretically a, yes a size in fact it would be within the guidelines if we divided the allowable size in half which we would kind of be doing given that there's two signs so okay yeah i'm 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 fine with it assuming that it's all the right materials and okay so um sorry uh, just for clarification mr chair so you want to change the size of the sign or this that size no. is fine that's fine no that sign's acceptable yeah. uh, the, the, the one that's on the the one that's written the amount that's written on the application or what's being displayed what's on the application is acceptable okay according to the size requirements in the in the guidebook mm -hmm. um it doesn't look like it's the same size as the sign that's up there now unless okay. gotcha. we're just misunderstanding that photograph, but that's okay. Okay. As long as they do what they're applying for with the mm -hmm. materials. Uh, Paul, are you speaking on this application? Uh, sure. Uh, I, I think okay. it's okay. Okay. And Mark? Uh, yes. I probably agree with your comments, Chris, that uh, the application looks fine. I, I just question what's out there right now. I have a feeling they put up a temporary sign until this is manufactured or something. Okay. We can, we can make sure we address that down the road if, uh, yeah. if there's an issue. Okay. So then is there a motion to approve these signs or this sign uh, based on the adoption of a master sign plan uh, so moved okay seconded uh, Second. kevin are you in favor aye and paul yes and mark yes okay and i'm yes so that is approved so now next on the agenda I, it's 29 Center Street. Okay. So it's a wall sign that's wood, Essex green painted. It is uh, carved. Oh, you went by there a little quick, Kathy. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, let's just look at that again. Um, so it's 45 inches by basically 11 inches rectangle. It's going to be on to the right of the entrance above the window. Um, okay. And this is, let's scroll down and where is this located? It's 29 center. So it's right in here. So I'll show you a picture okay. of the building and maybe make more sense. It's this right here. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, Kevin, do you have any comment? Uh, no concern. And Paul? Uh, just a question. Uh, what's the, that billboard out in front of the left of the door? 
This uh, right that here? That was there from... Standing on a pole. Yeah, that... That was from Center Street Bistro. That's going to have to go if it's not already gone. I don't know. Yeah. I've been there all along. I don't know. I don't know if that's been there all along either. Yeah. There's actually this... some... Uh, yeah, so, there's, there's yeah. a lot of signage actually at this location, to be honest, that's new, um, space which is not kind of the same as the situation a lot of businesses downtown have. I've seen some <laughs> freestanding things up front here. Um, Probably when he, when he got it all written, he saw it was eight pages. So, so that yeah. Center Street, should we, what's inside of that right now, that Center Street Bistro sign? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't been on the island yet, but last year it was just oh. their menu. Okay. So is this picture taken from last year? Is that what you're... Exactly. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I don't have any problem with the Dudley Stevens. Okay. Uh, Mark? Did we approve for now? Yes. Uh, yeah, that was last yep. year. Yeah, okay. we did. All right. Um, uh, I have no concerns, I guess. Okay. So should we, do we have a motion for approval of this? So I'll move. Okay. A second? Second. All right. Um, so we'll vote. Uh, Paul? Yes. And Mark? Yes. And Kevin? Aye. Okay. I'm an aye. So that's approved. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Chair, if I may, um, Ben has requested to hold his applications number five through 15 for the next meeting. All right. So, uh, can we have a motion to hold are those applications? Are we still able to discuss them now since they're on the agenda or? Yes. Yes, if, if you'd like to. Well, the only point I'd like to make is uh, to just encourage others of us to go around and look at at the existing signs and look at the buildings. Um, they, my, my point of view is I think the signs that they have already are much more in keeping and if they want to move those, I have no no objection to that, but I feel like these new signs are basically repeating the same information, except in a larger format with a larger logo and uh, kind of pushing the boundaries, I think. So if you get a chance, my recommendation would be to go by and view them. I walked by a couple yesterday and I think what they have is much better than what they're applying for. That was my only point I wanted to make today so people could look at it. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Um, so we will, do we have a motion then to uh, hold for representation? So move. A second? Aye. A second. Okay. So um, we'll take a vote. Kevin? Aye. Mark? Aye. Paul? Aye. Okay. The chair is aye. So those applications will be reviewed at the next meeting. So that brings then, us to swim across America. Yes. What about NIR? 16. Well, that's how it's oh. displayed on the view pack. Um, on the agenda, Matt, Mr. Chair, it is yeah. 14 Federal Street. So. Oh, sorry. No, no, that, that's okay. It's just how it, it's, it's, it's how it's loads on the website. Yeah, I got and you. I, and I believe there's people here for... Maybe there isn't actually. I don't. I don't recognize any of the names. Is anybody on for Fourteen Federal Street? It doesn't appear that there is. Um. Okay. Let's take a look at it and okay. see what it looks like. <laughs> so, Mr. Chair, so if I uh, may. Yep. She originally said it was a wall sign, but it's actually a projecting sign. I okay. received so, a, a picture yesterday. 
Okay, so it's 12 by 16 is within size guidelines. Black, white with a black border, wood carved. Okay, existing bracket. Let's see the. Uh, so the location is here. That's what it will look like. Okay. She has it hanging under this. Uh, oops, oops, yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, got it. So, Kevin, would you like to speak first? <laughs> uh, well, it, I think the way it's currently proposed is uh, not within our normal guidelines. I, I don't know what the, I can't tell what other options there might be with this. Uh, so it's a, Is there a, a second photograph, Kathy? No, there's just that photograph. I mean, maybe it goes up a stairs or there could be something on the fence. I, I just don't know. Other, if it has to be whatever they're proposing, I guess it should be the same format and attached like we've asked others to do. This, um, this, this reminds me of Audrey Sturks, where we, we made it sort of comply with the sign above in terms of size and, and attachment. So it looks yeah. more cohesive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think that's what Kevin sort of maybe not, is also suggesting yeah. here. I don't have a problem attached, with the right. sign itself, but I think they have to figure out a way to reorganize the proportions of it um, okay. so that it's probably of the same width as sustainable and looks more uh, cohesive in attachment, not just okay. a couple of hooks. Okay. I don't know how low to the uh, ground it's getting there either. Well, it looks like it's over like that planter, well, well to the left of the door. Um, oh. I don't think that's in too much of an issue, but. Okay, agreed. Paul, do you have any thoughts? No, I agree with what Mark said. Okay. So should we hold for revisions? Would that be the proper? Yes. Proper yeah, and I'll try okay. to take a view and see if there's any other options. Where is this located? Is this the um, Needle Building? It's where Sustainable Nantucket is. Um, it's 14 Federal Street. Okay. Looks like it's in an alley. Yeah. Okay. And maybe, so just to get a, a sense of the board's opinion, if there was a location closer to the sidewalk, like a wall location, because this is a relatively small sign, that this sign could be attached, say, closer to the corner board. I'm assuming there's a quarter board where you lead into this alley. Would that be something we should... Uh, I Hard think, knowing. Uh, yeah, Chris, I think we're lacking better. You know, we really need a, a yeah. shot from the street on this. I think it's the Eye of the Needle building. I'm not 100% certain. I don't know what their signage looks like. Wasn't there right. a, always a spot further back where the radio shack was 100 years ago? And I think this is generally where that is. Um, Good. So I don't really know if there is another spot yet. Um, so maybe more information or possible revisions. Okay. Okay, so we'll hold yeah. for revisions and there might also be, uh, if, if I could just add, you know, there might also be, if this is the eye of the needle building, it might be an opportunity for us to clean up those strip lights out of the front windows. Ah, uh, okay, that's something that we could address way. with, uh, the building, yep. This this could become a master sign plan actually because if it's I the needle sustainable Nantucket and and okay. uh, this new business then master sign plan would be in order. Yeah. Um, okay. So why don't we hold for? Would someone like to make a motion hold for revisions? I guess is the right. Yes. And more information. More. And representation, maybe even yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So move. <coughs> so move. Second. All right. All right. Uh, Kevin, are you in favor? Aye. And Mark? Aye. And Paul? Yes. And me? Yes. Okay. Thanks, Kathy. Welcome. <clears throat> now we have Maria Zoto. So the first okay. one is a banner sign. Maria, are you there? 
Yes. Okay. So this is for various locations. I, Maria, if you wanted to explain how many. Um, the banner, we're just going to have one banner. Some of it is, is cost okay. effective. And I already got um, approval or permission from Easy Street Cantina. There's a low fence. We wanted to get some visibility as cars are coming off the ferry. It'll be on the fence itself. It's going to be temporary. We're only fundraising from, say, um, July 1st till August 31st. And because we're only doing um, individual challenges, we're not having a one day affair, it's gonna be a little harder to raise funds. So we just wanted to keep the public apprised of how many miles we've logged in and how much money we've raised. Um, I'll probably put it on with those plastic um, ties that you use for landscaping. It'll have grommets. Um, I'll make sure it looks, you know, it doesn't get dirty. And I probably will change only the miles as those increase and the um, dollars raised as those increase and just put that on the banner as those things change. So I just, um, I have a cover letter to kind of explain um, 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 uh, Mr. Chair, through you, I just wanted to, I think I might have copied, Maria, this is not the right one we're using, right? No. Uh, okay, so, oh, right, it's on the okay. other one. Yeah, bear with me here. So, the, Mr. The Chair, this are is... pretty much what um, the National oh. Across America, not that one, that was my terrible no. third. Yeah. The graphics are what um, Swim Across America uses on their websites. It looks much more compact. For some reason, I don't have it on here. Um, oh. It's it's the Swim Across America logo, and I thought I attached it to this PDF, but apparently I didn't, and I apologize. Um, because um, I, see, if I was really savvy, I have it right in front of me. I could scan it and send it to you, but I'm probably not going to be able to figure that out. I did drop um, off a hard copy as well. Yeah. And essentially it says swim across America, coast to coast, uh, coast to coast, team Nantucket, <clears throat> and then it has total miles and um, total funds raised. So, and it's only black, white, and red. Uh, okay. Um... Kevin, would you like to start oh, the comments? Oh, it's a little hard to comment without actually seeing it, but I think that uh, where it's proposed, uh, I, I don't think it's a, a huge a huge issue. It's kind of a lot of activity down there anyway, as far as signs go. Um, uh, for a temporary thing and given all the constraints going on, I, I, I don't really have an issue with it. Okay, Mark. I don't believe that was really Kevin, but okay. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> this pandemic's really gotten to him, I think. But um, so, in light of that, um, I, I'm a little challenged not to know what it looks like graphically. I, I am certainly familiar with the Swim Across America graphics, so I'm not going to assume it's consistent with those, which I don't really have a concern with. Where I'm a little challenged, and this is probably going to lead to a larger discussion, maybe post the agenda, regular agenda items here, but um, unfortunately, that that tenant, that location, Easy Street, might be our largest uh, current, um, uh, you know, uh, violator of signage at present. There may be up to, and I, this is no exaggeration, twenty items of signage on his storefront. Um, so to add another, oh, it, I'm not kidding. I, and, and we should, again, have another discussion. And unfortunately, Maria's picked a spot that's probably the most challenging. Um, I, I, I don't think I have a concern with being mounted to the, to the fence. And I think it's not a bad idea and certainly gives her the exposure that the, um, 
they're looking for coming up Broad Street. So that's my only hesitation is we're going to be adding add, adding a, a sign to to a to, sorry somebody should mute um, to to an area that's already plastered um, with various uh, violations. Um, so that's my only. I, so I don't know where I stand on that. I don't know if we want to, where, where that leads to us, I guess, is what we're doing. There's violations that I've, you know, like we've never seen before. And of course we're going through something like we've never seen before. So I'm curious to pull the, the uh, committee um, on this or advisory group, um, maybe separately. Um, I, I guess I'll, I'll hold my final comments until maybe we hear from, from others. <coughs> But that's that is a concern. I mean, I think if we were to approve it on that fence, I'd I would like to see Easy Street do a cleanup if that's something that we're we're considering during this period. Um, it, not easy. So I I guess those are my comments. Okay, Paul. Uh, I have a question. Is this one sign? Because the application I'm looking at says win inside the window at town pool, inside the window at the hub. Um, when they that, that's a poster as well so that that's the next application so in other words the banner was one application and I okay I understand so we're just talking we're just talking about the banner the banner. right yeah, I, yeah right. sorry my, my question is if you have a problem with the easy street business per se what about town pool that's the only other business it's kind of near the ferries where they probably would allow me to mount it maybe even on the building itself it's up to you but time is kind of of the essence because you know like i said june i'm sorry july 1st was kind of our target date um and we haven't had this manufactured yet because we don't want to lay out the money if it doesn't get approved so i would be willing to say um if you don't like easy street could I put it on um, Town Pool's building? There's not much else down there. And I know what yeah. you mean about Easy Street. When I'm thinking about it in my brain, I'm thinking, yeah, there is a lot of stuff all over the place. Yeah, it may kind of get lost there. So Maria, um, I guess, uh, is, is, is uh, Town Pool returning to that space? Or is, I, I believe or so because we had, you know, we're trying to find out like who's going to be sympathetic to us and somebody said, sure. Is it Flaherty? I can't remember the last name, but there was somebody that was connected with Swim Across America and they said, the <laughs> town pool will definitely let you. I haven't contacted them. I only contacted from Easy Street. So that's the that's the Arno building on the corner, obviously. Yeah. And yeah. and yeah. currently there's no yeah, I'm staring at it. There's no activity over there. I don't know if they're returning. Um, separate from that, I guess the banner. You know, there's nothing on the building at present. So a banner on that building would certainly not compete with anything else. Um, I have no concerns if, if they get owner consent for its location, temporary location, certainly there. Um, you know, if anything, it probably brings a little life to the building that's currently vacant. It's just sitting idle. So um, I feel like that might be a, a better location given um, the issues we're having at 2 Broad Street. Yeah, that sounds good. It's fine with me. <laughs> Okay, um, so one thing you, you would there's no designation of the timing here. Is it intended to be there from July first to August thirtieth? Is that the the window that you're requiring? Requesting? 30th, yes. Okay, um, so my only concern, and it's interesting, the board sounds like the rest of the members sound amenable to this. Is simply there are a lot of nonprofits that are going to be challenged this summer and. I'm only concerned with setting a precedent where we're going to end up with banners lining the streets um, in that there's no, this location doesn't really have anything specifically to do with the nonprofit. And so if we're allowing off premises signage, so to speak, uh, as a temporary banner for one, are we going to be in trouble when every other organization sees that and requests a banner? Um, around town at locations that might allow them to post them. And if it's the summer of the pandemic and that's just the way that we let things go, then that's understandable. I would hate for this to become a new precedent that, you know, annually we see banners around town, which the guidelines don't allow. Um, 
specifically. So this would be something that we're allowing sort of as an exception to the rule. Right. Um, Chris, I, I, I don't disagree with what you're saying. Um, and, you know, maybe, maybe their application uh, swim across America sort of starts to establish policy. Um, we haven't seen the applications come in yet. Um, I think there are going to be virtual events that are coming up in the, just a number of weeks here. Um, I'm not sure what those organizations are going to be doing. Um, and maybe, you know, if, if I understand Swim Across America, we're looking for one banner on an off-premise location, and then the other two are going to be in-window signs, which kind of remind me of circus signs from, and not in a bad way, uh, you know, that were posted years ago, you know, in, in storefronts or at Young's and that sort of thing. Is that, that sounds consistent with some of the things we have approved in, of in the past. And, you know, do we just, simp you know, maybe another discussion, but do we approve banners such as these, you know, one off-premise banner per uh, event, you know, you're, we, we've allowed one. Um, I, I know we've allowed banners uh, kind of kind of off-premise for um, the, the film festival when they're, you know, merchandising tickets from various locations or they have events temporarily in locations. Um, so it, it, it graphically in terms of the impact visually to the um, island, it reminds me a little bit of that, but you're, you're, it is certainly outside of our, our guidelines. And uh, I think we're going to be bending some rules given the conditions over the next, you know, summer at least. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I think if you look back to, uh, you know, we approved a similar kind of a milestone chart sign, if you will, for the hospital that went on the bank. So it's been done. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I don't. Yes, Paul. Uh, just quickly addressing Mark's comments about there's nothing on the building that he's looking at across the street. However, the history with the town pool is they put up all kinds of signage after they open up. And I think I agree with Mark. It, it would be fine if that's the only thing on, but they, they're going to have other stuff out there. I don't know how we control that. I don't disagree with what Paul said. At the moment, I think even Town Pool would be better than Two Broad Street. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying a lot. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to live with it more than anybody. <laughs> okay. So, uh, just, uh, my just reiterating my thoughts, though, that Maria, in my opinion, next year, this shouldn't be considered um, sort of the start of a new campaign. In other words, I don't think that it's um, appropriate to allow a nonprofit to have a banner from July 1st to August 30th um, every year. I think that this is a pandemic related application and um, that it shouldn't be presented to your board as the new normal. Um, I would say that, you know, if things can return to the way they were before with your event, then that's the way that it should be advertised. And um, I just have a, Personally, I, I would urge my fellow board members to consider that uh, in the future we can't have, you know, a banner for every nonprofit up for the, the busiest two months of the season. I think that I the, you know, downtown will become a billboard um, for every organization. And we're actually meeting. Um, uh, we have a Zoom meeting on Wednesday, so I'll relate that to the board. And they, um, I have to tell you, they were very um, – careful about getting your approval and making sure that we follow the rules and regs. So they're very reticent to, um, you know, not overstep their bounds. The community has been very supportive of this event and we've been able to raise, hit our goals every year. I don't know about this year. Yeah. Um, it's just tough. No, well, it's a, very much. and we, I think I speak for everybody. We appreciate everything you're doing and it's not about isolating any one event versus another. It's simply, there are, as you as you know, um, dozens of events every year, and so um, you know we just personally I don't want to see downtown become a a, a billboard landscape. Um, so so does someone want to make a motion then uh, based on this sign? And <clears throat> I'll make a motion. I think we should, I think uh, uh, make a motion to approve with documentation, uh, maybe it's already in the file, but what it's going to look like. 
uh, as a one-time temporary installation at whatever the address is for. It's 31 Easy Street. At 31 Easy Street. Um, I think that covers it one time temporary. July 1 to August 31st. Yeah. So we'll second that. All right. So uh, vote by roll, Kevin. Aye. And Paul. Aye. Mark. Aye. And I will vote aye. So that is approved as noted. And Mr. Chair, this is for posters for this. Okay. Maria, if you wanted to present sure. your. You know, we're trying to save money, so I figured. Yeah. Yeah, it, the poster will look exactly like the banner, it'll be much smaller. Um, I haven't, uh, Harvey Young has issues because of reconfiguring his building for the coronavirus restrictions. I approached the hub. I don't know if they'll let me put one in there, but um, you know, I really don't have any definite place to put these. And if they don't get approved, then we'll just go with the banner and skip the posters. The posters are just getting us a little bit more vision out there in the community. That's all. Uh, there is the guidelines do call for a, a size requirement for a size a sign like this, and it's smaller than the twenty-four by thirty-six. I'm thinking that it might be, uh, I don't have the book in front of me, that's a disadvantage we're at right now. Um, Kathy, do you have access to the sign book that you can share and go I, under temporary? Oh, yes, I can go on to the website, absolutely. Oh, okay. Chris, can I interrupt you for yes. a moment? I have yes, to leave the Paul. meeting. I have to leave okay. the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. All right. Paula. Hey, Paul. Okay. Um, stand by. Sign, sign, sign. So looking there, I think it's under temporary signs. Oh, it's it's not too fast. Yeah. What's your, um, number, yeah, there it is. Uh, oh, number of, of, four, is page 18. Page 18. I'm sure there's a quicker way to do this, but I don't know how. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 11 by 17. 11 by 17. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, um, Mary, are you okay revising your, sure. your size for 11 by 17? Okay. Okay. So, I'm glad I saw the, um, I had no idea that book existed. So, because <laughs> I uh, was doing my homework. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so other than that, then I think it, it, given that you have the banner now on the town pool building, I think it would be redundant because it also says temporary signage, only one allowed per commercial location. So you wouldn't be allowed to put the, this poster at town pool. Um, you see the last sentence of that paragraph there, only one sign per event per commercial location. So then you could apply for two of these and you know, put them up at locations that will give you permission if that's what you want to do. Okay. Does that seem reasonable to you and uh, Kevin and Mark? Yes. Yep. Yes. <clears throat> yes. He's in that like van. He's got glasses. Okay. So would uh, someone like to make a motion based on this? So moved. So you, the motion is modify the size oh, to 11 by 17, two locations. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, okay, so that's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> great. Uh, we'll take a roll call vote. Kevin, aye. And Mark, aye. 
and I'm an I. So, Maria, this will be approved, modified to 11 by 17, and you can find two locations that are amenable. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Now, Matt, Mr. Chair, if I may, there is somebody on the line, 508-680-1387. Um, would you identify yourself? Uh, 680, yeah. I didn't realize the meeting had already started. This is uh, Mike Eldridge from the paint department out on um, the Old South. Yes. Hi, Mike. Uh, so we reviewed your application, um, and it was reviewed along with the new tenant that's sharing the space uh, or the building. Myra. And Myra, correct. So we approved your sign location and size along with hers, um, but we do require that the landlord submit a master sign application for the building that will identify the four sign locations and their sizes uh, so that that's on record, uh, which is something that we do for multi-tenant buildings. So basically it's just setting the establishing the signage locations for the future so that, you know, should there be turnover of tenants, the landlord can't uh, say that they haven't informed the you know, new tenants of what the signage uh, uh, approvable or what is approved for signage on the building. So if you or Myra um, want to put up your new signs, you'll need to get the landlord just to submit. It's a simple application uh, that shows those four locations and their sizes and um, it looked like you were applying for a sign that was larger than what is up there at the moment is that correct so is that a temporary uh, sign that's on the building on, on the front of the building right now yes yeah it was just a temporary just you know people have been calling us for for weeks trying to find out where we are and so on and so forth um, okay. so the sign that was approved um, first off on the other side of the building was actually the same size we're looking for for the front Okay. Yeah, it's for yeah. 25 by 50, I think you had it listed as. Yeah. Um, and, okay, so that's that was approved. Uh, we just want to make sure that it is indeed a wood painted sign, which the temporary sign at the moment doesn't appear to be. So It most certainly is not, but it will be. Yeah. Okay. So I think Actually, your, I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll, your we'll work follow. is virtually done. Just get the, the landlord, you know, you're not approved until the landlord gets that master sign plan approved. Um, but we you know, based on what we've seen, that will be an easy approval once we have the application. That is wonderful news, guys. Thank you all very much. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. All right. It just doesn't seem like number 14 arrived. Well, sorry, 14 Federal Street, so. 14 Federal Street. Okay. Did you want to discuss enforcement? Uh, I'll open the floor to Kevin. Oh, gee, um, <laughs> How much time do we need, Kevin? Um, but Mr. Chair, if I may, I just wanted to yes. let you all know that there, in the uh, town order number 11, there's a specific part of the first paragraph that states that the erection of signs, fencing, and other temporary exterior architectural features or temporary modifications to approved structures shall not require a certificate of appropriateness prior to approval of a building by the building commissioner. That's for outdoor seating and restaurants. So just so you know. Can you, can you say that again in layman's terms? What does that tell so you? In other words, in other words um, they don't have to apply for a sign, restaurant, downtown restaurants for signs, for fences, for anything architectural due to the pandemic and the financial hardship it's had on all the businesses okay. downtown. So something to consider. Okay. Well, that actually kind of helps us out because I think we were going to be facing. There's that. nothing to discuss. Um, <laughs> yeah. Challenge, yeah, this summer. Yeah. yeah. Um, Unfortunately, well, I, you know, the only, there's one that sort of hangs on here and that's the, uh, oh, what is it? The light, look. The thing on Main Street, uh, straight line, even line, something like that. Oh, Grace Line? Grace Line. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, they received I, um, it. Yeah. I, well, I will follow up with the director of planning on the enforcement side. Uh, I don't, I want to say that once the governor has lifted 
all the orders, we can continue enforcement. Um, I don't know that exact date. I don't know how strict we can get. Um, okay. That's another downtown business that's affected by the pandemic. Um, so I will yeah. get more information for you. Yeah. Well, this was just ignored from the previous oh, yeah. year. Yeah. Uh, right, right. Um, and, I, yeah. and I noticed wow. this week that the Ravis people have filled their Main Street windows from top to bottom again. Um, but I think that's going to probably be on hold until next year. We pick that thing back up. But Right, right. Um, yeah. I think this is just going to be an unusual summer. Um, but I will. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll have our work cut out for us in terms of mm, yeah. a lot of things. It's not only going to be signage, it's probably going to be outdoor dining and things are going to get retracted at some point, hopefully. Um, so we'll see, but yeah. so it does sound like we're just going to have to kind of sit on our hands, I think, for, right. for at least this season and right. understandably so. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, even though right. those who have had, um, violations in the past, they're still going through a financial hardship right now. Sure. So yeah. Yeah. Um, we don't want to kick somebody right. when they're down. That's true. Um, yeah. Yeah. I agree. So I don't think it's the time to do that. All right. Well, let's keep enforcement on the agenda just so it's there. And should should something agree just need to be discussed, we can. But um, we'll kind of agree yes. that we'll have our work cut out for us when this is all behind us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, all right. So, if there's no other business to discuss, motion to adjourn. Okay. Are we meeting so next week? Uh, you are meeting weekly. Um, okay, good. Okay. And I will be sending out links. So, once again, the link is on the agenda. Yeah, sorry. Um, sorry. Right. And uh, uh, probably in the middle uh -oh. of July, um, I will send out like a, a register with a, a list of dates for you to. If I can yeah. interrupt you, Kathy, it, it looks like Anna J is connecting to the meeting. Oh, she is. Okay. Hi. So, do you want to retract your motion to adjourn? Uh, we yeah, it was never seconded, so we'll. Uh, okay, that's good. Nick of time. Okay. Um, I think I can summarize. So, uh, can you uh, identify yes. yourself for the record? Uh, my name is Anna J. Okay. Um, so Anna, thank you. We did review your application um, and I will summarize the thoughts that we had. Basically, we did hold it for revisions because the um, sign guidelines don't allow for a sign to be suspended from another sign. Um, and in the cases that they are approved where two signs can occupy one bracket like you're proposing um, they need to be made so that it appears to be one sign and there's some good examples on broad street if you look at uh, uh, bookworks and the barnaby corner as well as audrey sterk and graphicas they've made their signs to sort of you know be individual names yet appear to be one so it's more about attaching the signs and making the size you know the same width and um, and, and having it sort of take the appearance of one sign. So that was one thought that we had. And then the other was to go down and look at the building and see if there's other uh, spaces that might be appropriate. But if you wanted to use this pr projecting sign application, it seems like that would be the way to uh, modify your application so that that could happen. Okay. There's no way I could um, do um, just like a separate hanging bracket below would, Well, I'll let Kevin, well, you want to... What we try and avoid is a, a continued suspension of signage of this nature because you end up, really, we want a more cohesive sign blade is what we're looking for. Um, when we've done these in the past where they've attached uh different businesses to existing business signage it, it really should be designed in such that uh it, it appears to be one blade it can graphically appear to be two signs but um it traditionally they'd be of the same width um in that case and uh attached so it's not gapped as as graphically shown on this image they'd be tight um, okay. and again their examples as, as chris referenced uh, in town, certainly along Broad Street, I think, you know, it's, it's very common, obviously, 
for uh, these spaces to have multiple tenants, and that's sort of how we've addressed um, those conditions. Um, so we don't end up with you know three to four signs at times. Um, we try and create one something that's more cohesive architecturally. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So and the um, the other we consider it. We didn't know if there was another location because the photograph we have is, is just of the doorway. But if there's another location to consider is this the eye of the needle building by the way yes it is okay um so this will, and there'll be three tenants in that space then eye of the needle sustainable nantucket and you yeah um okay so we should get a, a master sign plan for the building as well it just sort of identifies not only your sign but and this probably should have happened when sustainable went up but um it, it would say okay there's going to be three tenants so that should one of the tenants change out, future tenants yeah. are aware of where their uh, signage would be located so that you know, we're not having to uh, restart the conversation every time. So that would be something if your application could include photographs of the building from, a, you know, from afar, giving us a sense of all the signage on the building, that would be, that technically should be a second application that the landlord submits that says, you know, I have multiple tenants and here's how I want to address their signage needs and then you would be applying yours would be saying i'm filling this space um per the master sign plan so it's sort of like they would even be approved or reviewed at the same time but um that way the building's master sign plan and your application are congruent okay um so it's but i think that addressing this location you know what we've said is the way that a sign could be approved uh Perhaps there's another location where your sign as drawn would be appropriate, but it's hard for us to know without seeing okay. through the whole building. Okay. So it, what we did was we had a motion for revisions and representation. So you've, we're glad you signed in, but um, basically we're meeting again next week. If you can, you'll be on the agenda. If you can make a revision, that would yeah, be- Yeah, I'll, I'll email Kathy. That'd be good. Okay. Cool. Okay, um, at, Kevin, at any other same, comments? Yeah, I guess at, at, I guess we should make it clear that at the same time, the landlord should do his his or her uh, application. Yeah, I'll touch base with Corey at NIR and I'll see what she can do about the master sign plan. And, okay, and just great. so you know, through you, Mr. Chair, um, the uh, master sign plan is an example at the end of the sign book on the last few pages. Okay. Um, so it gives you an idea of what they're looking for. Awesome. Thank you, Kathy. Sure. Okay, Mark, any other thoughts? Nope. So, no. Okay, so I'm not As sure. Do we need to uh, re-motion? Or I think we already, this has already been addressed. We're kind of just informing at this point, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. No, no, no new motions are needed. No, no. Okay. Excellent. Well, thanks for Thank logging you in. So you, you caught us at the last second. That's good. <laughs> uh, Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. And I will be back on Tuesday with the revision. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Motion, to, motion to adjourn. <laughs> okay. Seconded. And uh, this concludes our meeting. Thank okay, you all. Thanks, guys. Great yeah, thank too. you, Kathy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.